Welcome to today's SeafoodNews.com video, sponsored by the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute. So the overall biomass of halibut in the Bering Sea, as well as the Gulf of Alaska, is fairly steady. It's not a conservation issue at this point, but it is a domestic allocation issue. So this week the council reviewed uh, what was essentially a 300 page analysis of the proposed halibut bycatch reductions. So there's a lot of small fish, but the over 32 fish that are able, available for commercial harvest have declined. So as the bycatch cap in the Bering Sea has remained constant, that's resulted in a reduction of available halibut to the directed halibut fishermen. And if you look particularly at Area 4 C, D, and E, which is, uh, we were at a point this year where there was barely enough halibut for a directed commercial fishery after we took the bycatch off the top. So you have uh, a number of fishermen for St. Paul Island, for example, that were facing the potential for a dramatically reduced fishery. So the Halibut Commission did allocate them enough fish this year for a fishery, but that was with an understanding and an expectation that the council was going to be taking some actions to address bycatch and reduce bycatch in the Bering Sea. And the council, on the other hand, manages multiple fisheries under a number of different uh, laws and executive orders and um, national standards. For example, National Standard 9 requires the council to minimize bycatch to the extent practicable, but National Standard 1, on the other hand, requires us to achieve, uh, achieve optimum yield from the groundfish fisheries. So that's a delicate balancing act that the, that the council has to deal with. There are a lot of uh, coastal communities and fishermen in the Bering Sea that are highly dependent on uh, the halibut directed fishery that have been fishing in that area for many decades and um, the council is extremely interested in a management program that allows those people to continue their fisheries. And it is a balancing act but the Amendment 80 fleet for example who, who take a, a, a large amount of the available bycatch cap have taken measures over the past several years to on their own fairly dramatically decrease their bycatch levels, but there's still um, a desire on the council's part to look at further reductions in the overall cap. So overall the halibut biomass is fairly steady, so it's not a conservation issue at this point. There's a certain urgency there now when we see the uh, directed commercial fisheries in some other areas of the Bering Sea getting to perilously low levels. So I think this is one of the most important things the council's grappled with recently. Today's SeafoodNews.com video was brought to you by the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute. Alaska has been protecting wild and sustainable seafood for generations and adheres to the most recognized and internationally accepted set of guidelines written by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. For recipes and additional information, visit WildAlaskaFlavor.com.